Hello and welcome to Bath News and Media. I'm here with uh, athlete Leon Reed, and he's going to talk to us about his uh, career with, as being an athlete and uh, what he does in his daily basis life. Uh, so to start off with, um, best thing that you've had in 2014, obviously you're running for the Commonwealth Games. Uh, why don't you tell us a bit about that? Um, it was a bit scary really. Well, I've been in that sort of situation before, but not 80,000 people and all the TV cameras and stuff like that. So obviously I've been on TV before, but not with that sort of audience behind it. But it was scary, but it was really good. The vast majority of the crowd, um, obviously it's going to be packing the nerves, packing the excitement. Um, so you're saying it's the best thing we've had in your whole life? Oh yeah, definitely. Being one of the home nations as well, being surrounded by Scotland and England and stuff, we get the biggest cheers. So the crowd literally goes crazy when they call your name out, and that definitely made the hairs on the back of my neck stick up. Yeah, amazing. Um, so running for the Commonwealth Games, um, obviously you originally run for Great Britain, that's what we always run for, but you decided to choose uh, Northern Ireland instead of England for yeah. the Commonwealth Games. Why don't you tell us why you did this? Well, um, last year my brother passed away, and that made me look into my family history a bit more. And it turns out I'm more Irish than I'm English. So I've actually got family in Belfast, which is Northern Ireland. So I looked into it a bit more and I found out that I'm actually half Irish and quarter English. So then I had a discussion with the family and we decided to make the choice together. Okay, that's uh, very nice, very sentimental. Um, so with the um, Commonwealth Games, you're actually out of action before you went on to run. You um, had you out for about six weeks and then what tell us about that? Well, I was touring Belgium. So we go on tours of Belgium pretty much every year. So we go four races every three days, we race. So. And then um, for the big one, the last one, one with the most people and the best prize money, um, all the best athletes are there. So then come warming up just before my race, I had one last rep to warm up to. And then somebody decided to run the wrong way on the warm up track as fast as they could while I was doing the fastest run that I could. And then we smashed heads. I remember waking up on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Two worlds collide. Um, okay, so six weeks out of action, right? Yeah. So how long did you have, when you actually came back into training, how long did you have to train for the Commonwealth? I had just under two weeks to oh. train for the biggest competition of my life. So yeah. a lot of pressure then? Uh, quite a lot of pressure, especially when I hadn't eaten properly, because I like, broke my jaw and the nerve and stuff, so I, I was unfit and lost loads of weight, so it wasn't, it wasn't the best. Okay, um, so away from the Commonwealth Games, uh, your typical routine, when so you train every day as much as you can. Uh, what goes into your typical training um, system? Quite a bit actually. It's not as easy as everybody thinks. It's as you're like, oh, you run, so all you do is run. I get asked that a lot. It's like, what do you do at training? Just run. Like, there's a lot of technique to it. It's all about angles and diet and routine. So I get up at, right, I've got to be at the uni for 10 o'clock every day, and I finish around 2 o'clock, and that's flat out. It takes me an hour and a half just to warm up, then um, do a run. <laughs> so. so what goes into a typical diet? Diet. Well, it's pretty much balanced. We have our own nutritionists as well as doctors and physios and stuff. So we kind of get, uh, each month we get set, like a plan, just roughly what to eat. So then we get blood tests and stuff like that just to make sure that we're taking on the right things. But it's mostly clean. Okay, fair enough. Um, so if you're training as much as possible, and then when you're out training, obviously you've got competitions. Do you have, how much spare time do you actually have? What do you do with your spare time? I do actually have a lot of spare time. I finish training at like 2 o'clock and then I have the whole day to do whatever I want. So I usually either play Xbox, sleep probably because I'm tired, or meet up with friends, drink coffee. You say being an athlete is hard, that's what you say, yeah? Yeah, well, it definitely is hard. It doesn't sound hard, it's a lot of fun. You, you, get, you do get to meet a lot of cool people. But it's definitely some perks. Um, so what you've got coming up in the future, have you got, in 2015, you've got any competitions coming up? Yeah, well there's under 23s over in Tallinn, and there's also the World Championships in Beijing. That's in the summer, but before then, I have to do the trials basically, which is the under 23 trials and also the senior trials. So that should be interesting. Okay, uh, we've got the uh, Olympics coming up in 2016. Uh, what's your ambitions for being able to achieve to run in the Olympics? Oh, uh, well, the way things are looking, I should make the team, but obviously, anything can happen between now and then, so I'm just taking it day by day, training by training. Okay, yeah, it's the best way to see it. Um, so hopefully we'll be seeing you on telly on the tracks a lot more. So it's 100 and 200 you run, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah, brilliant. Well, hopefully you'll see you a lot more in the future and uh, good luck to you. Thanks. Okay, so it's been Bath News and Media. That's uh, Leon Reeds. Thank you very much.